My name is Lindsay Brewer and I'm a professional race car driver. All right, so how many times have you shot a gun in your life? Absolutely never. I am a complete rookie. I've never even held a gun, so completely new to all of this. And that's why I'm so honored to have you kind of teach me the ropes about all of this. Well, I think Mike is an absolute badass. I've seen some of the stuff he's done, and I think he's going to have no trouble today doing this. He's done a lot of cool things. and. You know, I'm just excited to teach him a little bit about my world and what I do and hopefully he can teach me some of the stuff he does and you know I think self-defense is something I've always wanted to learn so I think hopefully we can give each other a bit of knowledge on both of our things we do our occupations so we're gonna <laughs> okay. focus on safety we'll focus on how to handle how to uh, manipulate a gun how to load unload make yeah. safe and clear and then we'll introduce it to the self-defense side. Hey, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. This is gonna be awesome. I'm excited for you. I'm just gonna set your hands in the right position. Okay. So, and that's the right position. Okay. okay. So, I'll, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it back to, to your chest like that, and just lift your arms slightly, just slightly. There you go, okay. perfect. Yeah. On the command of push, I just want you to push the gun forward okay. and align the sights. Okay. Push. Good. Pull. Push. Good. Pull. Push. I would not be responsible if I didn't teach you a little bit about first aid yeah. when we're dealing with firearms. A lot of guys, uh, a lot of gals that are into firearms train first aid. Yeah. Especially stop the bleed, which is very important. So I'm going to teach you how to apply a tourniquet okay. and stop an extremity bleed in the arms and legs and some basic first aid stuff that we'll go over before we get in the range. Okay. okay. Perfect. Let's do it. So the idea is you have highways for blood in your arms and legs. Yeah. And if you needed to stop a bleed, we would apply this tourniquet in a short. So say I got shot right here. Yep. The, the general rule of thumb is get it up high above the wound. Okay. So say I got shot like here. At least two inches here. above yeah. the wound. Yeah. So right here, we'll put it here. And this is this Obviously is. Obviously, you're gonna do it lighter than what it, you you do. Yeah, of it. course. Yeah. yeah. So I would turn this clockwise. Yeah. And then set it into the groove yeah. here and then apply this, and that would stop the, the bleed. If you're actually okay. training it, one way to do it is a radial pulse. And you so, won't feel a pulse. If and you won't feel a pulse, or a pulse ox meter on your finger, Yeah. and you won't you won't register a pulse. Okay. And then when I come here, uh, some of the things that are takeaways is, this is just Velcro holding this on, yes. but this red tab is always towards your heart. Okay. Okay. So arms and legs, we do that same thing. So Why the red tab towards the heart? It's it? just a, a general rule of thumb. Well, one is, if I'm applying it this way, I pull it towards my body because I could oh, do it by okay. myself. You could do it yourself, yeah. Yeah, but if you had to pull it away, it'd be difficult yeah, true. to do. Yeah, true. Okay. So let's put this on your thigh. Okay. Yep. And I always... Oh, but it's the wrong way. Oh, it's okay. okay. It's all right. On the leg, when it's self-made like that, you can get away with that. Okay. So you want, yeah, you want to just isolate it on top. Go ahead and do the Velcro all the way, just like that. And then... Can you put that through there? Yep. Okay. Uh, I set you up like that. You don't, you don't have to. Okay. Just like this is fine. And then you would turn that, just give it one clockwise? turn. Clockwise? Yep, one turn clockwise. Put it in the groove. Oh. Yep. And then take this tab and lock it down. Just like that. Damn. Just like that. I feel and a, that. Yeah. And a check would be, be careful because anatomy is weird, but we all have the socket. Yeah. This part of my leg is a lot thinner than the thick, the part, thick part of my leg. Yeah. Just make sure that it's when it's on the thick part, it doesn't slide up into the loose part. And then it'll just be too loose. Yeah, you'll, yeah, yeah. you'll completely bleed out yeah, and okay. not even recognize it. So a check for it is two fingers inside. If you can fit two fingers, that's not good. Yeah. Well, I can't. Yeah. Oh, you can't? No, yeah, figure no, it out. Can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. There you go. And then, and then pull, yep. Wow, okay. All right, so we went over gun safety. We did a little bit of first aid. We'll do the rest of it out before we do the range. But I think it's time now to focus on the fundamentals and go shoot guns for the first time, right? Yes, my very first time. I'm so excited. Yeah, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but after holding the gun and kind of getting situated, I feel confident and ready enough to shoot and try. So we'll see. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be All great. Right, let's go. All right, let's go. I'm very excited. I've never shot a gun before. I'm completely new to that world. So um, definitely a bit nervous, but I know I'm in good hands and I'm gonna learn from the best. So. Uh, I trust him and I think it'll be a lot of fun today. So here's what I want you to do. On the command of threat, 
I'll just say it just like that. Yeah. I want you to start pulling your trigger finger back to the rear while you're counting to three okay. out loud. Shoot already, stand by. Correct. One, two, three. Good. Yeah! You did it. Do it again. One, ready? One, two, three. Good. Do it again. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Very good. Can I shoot for the head? Yeah, you can. So put okay. your hand, you're slipping your grip just okay. slightly. Okay. So I'm going to take your hand and I'm going to position it My right hands here. Are so sweaty. It's all right. So am I. Just like that. I real can't see that. Oh, there's a red dot. Good. There's a real red dot. red dot. Perfect. Do that again. And you're doing good. Just bend forward just a little slight. There you go. Slightly. There you go. Okay, hands on the trigger. Yep. And then put the, the, the dot on the head and slowly push it to the rear. Do it again. Okay. Is that good? You're doing it so good. Really? This is insane. Really? I'm actually really impressed. Okay, good. Like you're so technically proficient. Really? Well, it's rare because I mean, if I taught, if I told a guy to do that, yeah. he would do it ten other ways. Really? But it, you're doing exactly what I tell you to do. See, that's guys have egos, and so they yeah. want to think they can do it the way they want to do it. But I feel like I listen to the professional <laughs> yeah it's so crazy how yeah. good you are thank you i mean look where you're shooting you're not the first time you've ever shot a gun and you're putting it on target and following fundamentals yeah. and just breaking the shot clean yeah so i just shot a gun for the very first time and it was absolutely incredible very exhilarating i feel very comfortable and safe and yeah just it's just quite an experience you can't really understand unless you've done it I like can't stop smiling. It's exciting. You're it's, doing so good. It's yeah, so thank awesome you. to see. It's so great. <laughs> thank you. All right, shooter ready. Stand by. Cut. Oh, you like those headshots. Was I hitting the head? You, you shot everyone in the head. Sorry. You had one one off there, one off there, but every one. I need shot to learn in the how head. to shoot a little lower. I'll no, just know it's that that's fine. Good. The red dot was easier. Yeah. The red dot is easier with this this particular setup. Yeah. Yeah. Once you technically go back and train fundamentals, yeah. you'll crush it. Okay. Yeah, good job. Thank good you. Alright, let's go get the fun guns. Woo! Oh, that was oh right in the face. Right in the head. Was that in the head? So go to the body and do three on the body. <laughs> no, you're hitting it. You're hitting it in the face. In the neck. Wait, okay, I have to be more forward, yeah. Yep, what's up? Was that okay? Yeah, oh my God. Okay. You just hit him in the head like 10 times. <laughs> so I'm originally from Arvada, Colorado, and I started racing when I was 11 years old. I just went to a birthday party at a go-kart track and absolutely fell in love with it. My family, we grew up snowmobiling, jet skiing, four-wheeling, a lot of like fun activities. So when I went to the go-kart track, it just instantly clicked and ended up being all the, beating all the adults and beating all the boys. So my dad got me my own cart and I just started racing from there and I, I won my regional the regional championship my very first year against all the guys which was really fun. <laughs> I heard he has a little bit of a racing background but I think obviously just the way to take the corners, the braking, uh, that where to hit your apexes, the racing line and just you know the quickest way to get around the track. We're gonna look at the telemetry, we're gonna look at his onboard and I think he's about to take a couple warm-up laps on the track now so I'm gonna see how he does there but just a little bit of technical stuff that we're gonna talk about. Alright so what we got here is the Huracan GT so this thing is 610 horsepower rear wheel drive you can go 0 to 60 in 3 seconds so this thing is no joke all carbon fiber right here along the sides the bodywork is definitely a race kit so it's gonna handle amazing and I wish you the best of luck are you excited I am so this is like a pro race car this is not like a yeah factory car this no 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 no. Car. this is a pro car so it's gonna be a little quick so yeah I know you're used to some ex exhilarating things but yeah this thing's gonna be a blast do apply the basics do your best obviously yeah. just work on your footwork and hitting the apexes at the right spots and you'll do a great job awesome yeah all right here we go all right good luck So we're about to look at your onboard footage right now and I'm about to critique how you did. So 
I know it's your first time out here. Um, I'll go a bit easy on you, but I'll teach you a little tricks and tips like what you could have done to maximize the speed. So yeah, you definitely braked a little early here. I know yeah. it's your first lap out, but you could have pushed that brake zone a little bit deeper. And this is the double apex. This is the double yeah. apex, so you could have gone in a t definitely tighter there to get that exit. You hit that apex, good, good job there. And then you wanted, see that's the thing you should have gone back over to Wide. hit that a little bit wider, yeah. The biggest thing is like you could have just hustled the car a little more and like carried more minimum speed through it. Yeah. Not necessarily like you just I think we're over braking this lap a little bit. But again, this is your first flying lap. Do you use momentum like of the car to drive? Yeah, the yeah, exactly. So you you brake to use, and, but you don't brake too much. So you, you brake just a bit to get the nose pointed and carry that rolling speed, to get it straight and go. This track is so tight as it is. You really want to just like use all the track. You should have been over to the left already. Uh, That's the thing. Like, so you could flow that speed through. I talk a lot with my hands. <laughs> no, it's good. It makes no, sense. So, so is he. <laughs> I'm just, I, like, it's, the, that gross movement. It's hard to, to you're not used way. to it. Yeah, exactly. And with a heavy car like this, it is like more of an abrupt movement to get back over. But like, in that case, you needed to take more, a bit of a more late apex. So what that means is like, you wait a little longer to turn in and hit the apex like at a later one. So it kind of like, say the turn is like this, you would hit it later so it already positions you over here for the next corner. Gosh. Instead of an early apex where it pushes you out tight and then you have to aggressively get back over. Yeah. So, so my best was 58.08. No, you did better every lap. Like yeah. every single lap you got quicker and that's like yeah. improvement there. I mean, hey, this is your first time out here and you only got to do five laps. Like you did a really, to get yeah. under a minute on your first time is actually really good. So awesome. I think it's really cool that we both, we're gonna get to show each other a bit about our, each of our worlds and it's two people that love to do very exhil exhilarating things. So it's gonna be a great time.